divisibility. An integer a is called even if there is another integer b such that a is equal to 2 times b. Let's look at some examples. 10 is even because 10 is equal to 2 times 5. Here, a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5. Negative 16 is even because negative 16 is equal to 2 times negative 8. Here, a is negative 16 and b is negative 8. Now, 1 can be written as 2 times a half, but this does not show that 1 is even. In the definition of even, it is very important that b is an integer. 1 half is not an integer, and so it cannot be used as a value for b in the definition of even. Let's try an exercise. For each integer a, find a number b such that a is equal to 2b. Then determine if the equation a equals 2b shows that a is even. Now's a good time to pause this video, try this exercise for yourself, and then resume the video to check your answers against mine. Okay, six. Here b is equal to three. So six is equal to two times three. This equation shows that six is even because three is an integer. Negative two. Here b is equal to negative one. So negative two is equal to two times negative one. This equation shows that negative two is even because negative one is an integer. Five. Here b is equal to five halves. So five is equal to two times five halves. This equation does not show that five is even because five halves is not an integer. Next, zero. Here b is equal to zero. So zero is equal to two times zero. This equation does show that zero is even because zero is an integer. And negative one. Here b is equal to negative a half. So negative one is equal to two times negative a half. This equation does not show that negative one is even because negative one half is not an integer. We define the sum of integers m and n to be m plus n. We define the product of m and n to be m times n. Even integer fact one. The sum of two even integers is even. Even integer fact two. The product of two even integers is even. Let's look at an example. 12 is even because 12 is equal to two times six. And 16 is even because 16 is equal to two times eight. So we have 12 plus 16. By substitution, that's equal to two times six plus two times eight. And that's equal to two times six plus eight because multiplication is distributive over addition in the set of integers. Okay, and that's equal to two times 14 which is 28. Another example, let's verify even integer fact one. Let M and N be even integers. Since M is even, there is an integer J such that M is equal to two J. Since N is even, there's an integer K such that N is equal to two K. So we have m plus n by direct substitution is equal to 2j plus 2k, which is equal to 2 times j plus k, because multiplication is distributive over addition in the set of integers. j plus k is an integer because the set of integers is closed under addition. It follows that m plus n is even. Remember that even integer fact two says that the product of two even integers is even. As an exercise, let's verify even integer fact two. As a hint, you can use the previous example for guidance. Now's a good time to pause the video, 
try to do this verification yourself and then resume the video to check your work against mine. Let M and N be even integers. Since M is even, there is an integer J such that M is equal to 2J. Since N is even, there is an integer K such that N is equal to 2K. So we have M times N is equal to 2J times 2K by direct substitution, which is equal to 2 times J times 2K because multiplication is associative in the set of integers. J times 2K is an integer because the set of integers is closed under multiplication. It follows that MN is even. An integer A is divisible by an integer K if there is another integer B such that A is equal to K times B. We use the vertical line symbol to represent this. This could be read as K is a factor of A, K is a divisor of A, K divides A, or A is a multiple of K. Let's look at some examples. Note that being divisible by two is the same as being even. Here, K is equal to two. 21 is divisible by three, because 21 is equal to three times seven. Here, A is equal to 21, B is equal to seven, and K is equal to three. Negative 48 is divisible by six, because negative 48 is six times negative eight. Here, A is equal to negative 48, B is equal to negative eight, and K is equal to six. Let's try another exercise. For the integers a and k given, find an integer b that shows that a is divisible by k. Now's a good time to pause the video, try this exercise on your own, and then resume the video to check your answers against mine. a equals 12, k equals 3. Here b is equal to 4. So 12 is equal to 3 times 4. For a equals 12, k equals 4, here b is equal to 3, so 12 is equal to 4 times 3. For a equals negative 77 and k equals 11, here b is equal to negative 7. So negative 77 is equal to 11 times negative 7. For a equal 13 and k equals 13, b is 1. So 13 is equal to 13 times 1. For a equals 24 and k equals negative 6, here we have b equals negative 4, so 24 is equal to negative 6 times negative 4. Divisibility fact 1. The sum of two integers that are each divisible by k is also divisible by k. Divisibility fact 2. The product of two integers that are each divisible by k is also divisible by k. The verifications of these two facts are very similar to the verifications of the two even integer facts. So I will leave them as an exercise.